Today I'll be showing you how to make Kenyan style chicken pilau and it's going to be an easy and simple recipe. All you need is a whole chicken or even some boneless chicken and try out making this delicious chicken pilau. Once done making this delicious chicken pilau, it's going to be very tender and flavorful since you're going to be adding pilau masala. So grab yourself some chicken and some rice and a few other ingredients which you're going to find in the description box and let's make this delicious chicken pilau. You'll need a whole chicken for this recipe and I'm using a broiler chicken. So you're going to move over to your stove top and place a pot that is a heavy bottomed pot of a medium high flame. And then I've already prepped up my onions, garlic and ginger together with some spices and also my chicken is ready. Once the cooking oil is hot, you're going to add in some whole spices. So I've added in some black peppercorns and green cardamom pods. Then you're going to toast your whole spices for around 30 seconds or until the spices start to pop. Once you notice the spices popping, you're going to add in your onions. And at this point, and at this point, the whole spices are very fragrant. So I'm going to add in two medium onions. Stir in. Cook the onions until they have a very nice golden brown color. And browning the onions is going to add in so much flavor to our chicken pilau. Once the onions start to get a lovely golden brown color, you're going to add in lots of garlic and ginger. That is a damp sized ginger and six cloves of garlic. Then you're going to saute for around 30 seconds so that the garlic can cook and become fragrant. Once your onions are browned and the garlic and ginger is very fragrant, you're going to be adding in your pilau masala. And over here I have mine, which is homemade. I usually buy the whole spices and then I, I grind into a powder. And the powder is very awesome. So if you want to learn how to make pilau masala, you can check up here or in the description box for the full recipe. So I'm going to be adding in two tablespoons of pilau masala because I'm going to be making two cups of rice. Add in some seasoning and you're going to stir in the seasoning into the onions. And at this point, the kitchen is going to be smelling so good. Let the pilau masala toast for around 30 seconds and then you're going to add in your chicken. You're going to stir in your chicken and coat the chicken with the pilau masala and the garlic and ginger together with the onion flavor. And then you're going to let this cook for around three to five minutes before adding in your rice. So I'm going to cover my pot. Over here I have two cups of basmati rice that I've soaked for 15 minutes. So the rice is ready to add in the pot. All I'm going to be doing is wait for the chicken to cook for around three to five minutes. And then I'm going to add in the rice so that the chicken can fully cook while the rice cooks. The good thing about this chicken pilau is that you can use boneless or bone in chicken to make your chicken pilau and the rice is going to turn out amazing. And also you can meal prep the chicken pilau, keep it in your fridge and enjoy during the week. I'm going to check on my chicken after around three minutes and you can see it has soaked in all those lovely spices and it has a very nice brown color it's flavorful and cooked halfway so I'm going to be adding in my soft rice into the pot Stir in the rice. Add 
add in some salt stir in the salt and remember i added in two seasoning cubes which also contain salt so i'm going to add in four cups of water for two cups of rice and then i'm going to wait for my pot to come to a boil check if the seasoning is perfect if it's not perfect i'm going to be adding in more salt Stir in the water and then you're going to let this come to a boil. Check the seasoning. If it's not perfect, you're going to be adding in more salt, like I've said. So you're going to wait for the water to evaporate. And when it reduces, you're going to cover and simmer for around five minutes, five to six minutes. And then you're going to have some perfect chicken pilaf. My chicken pilau is ready and yes, it's looking so delicious. I love the color. I love how it has turned out. The rice is perfect. You can see the basmati rice has turned out perfect. The chicken is cooked through and looking delicious. My chicken pilau is ready and it has turned out mouth-watering. I love that the chicken is well cooked as well as the rice and it's well seasoned. The flavor is just top-notch. So this recipe is a crowd pleaser and I hope you'll be trying out maybe for your family or even guests and everyone is going to enjoy each and every bite. So catch you on my next episode and I hope you'll be trying out this recipe.